our next topic is the wells the temperate grassland of south africa are called the well what about the temperate grassland of which which one south africa ओके बेटा जस्ट लुक एट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल्सो आर टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका व्हाट इट कॉल्ड वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द प्रेरीज एंड व्हाट अबाउट द टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका ओके व्हाट इट कॉल्ड इट कॉल्ड वेल्स गॉट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीका ओके वट इट कॉल्ड वेल्स Wells are rolling plateaus with varying height ranging from six hundred meter to eleven hundred meter. Okay, here some plateaus also there. जो grassland है वहाँ का वो plateau की form में. Okay, plateaus also over there with varying how much height? Height ranging from six hundred meter to eleven hundred meter. It is bound by the uh, Drakensberg mountain on the east to. Its west lies the Kalahari Desert, same as north, east, south and west. Okay, आ जो आपका वहाँ क्या है east में कौन सा है Drakensberg Mountain. Okay, which mountain? Drakensberg Mountain in Wales. Wales में आपका east में कौन सा है and what about west? Kalahari Desert. Now let's come here. On the north and eastern part, which part? North eastern part. High wells are located that attain a height of more than sixteen hundred meter in some places. अगर हम बात करें some places की तो जहाँ वो वहाँ के high wells also located over there that attain how much height? Height of more than sixteen hundred meter. Now look at the map of Africa also, beta. Yes, just look at the map also. Well, in Africa, okay. Just look at green part here over there. This is the part. Okay, you can see that Africa का जो आपका part है, well covered by. And you know the well name was given by the Dutch settlers. Okay, what about the well name? Well name was given by the Dutch settlers before South Africa was colonized by the British. British के colonize होने से पहले South Africa में well को name किसने दिया था Dutch settlers ने. So beta, now what about the climate? Okay, climate of this region. The wells have a mild climate due to the influence of the Indian Ocean. यस yes, यहाँ है वेल्स आपका तो साउथ अफ्रीका के जस्ट नीचे आपका कौन सा ओशन है इंडियन ओशन सो ड्यू टू इंडियन ओशन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्लाइमेट इन वेल्स रीजन यस द वेल्ड हैव अ माइल्ड क्लाइमेट ड्यू टू व्हाट ड्यू टू द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द इंडियन ओशन विंटर्स आर कोल्ड एंड ड्राई व्हाट अबाउट विंटर यस विंटर्स आर कोल्ड एंड ड्राई टेम्परेचर वेरी बिटवीन फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड जुलाई इज द कोल्डेस्ट मंथ बट About the coldest month in the world, yes, July is the coldest month in the world. And what about temperature? Temperature mostly varies between five degrees Celsius and ten degrees Celsius. Then summers are short and warm. What about summers? Summers are very short and warm. Johannesburg record about twenty degree temp Celsius temperature in the summer. What about twenty degree temperature? Twenty degree Celsius temperature in the summer, and we are in Johannesburg. Now, the well receive rainfall mainly in the summer month from November to February. What about November month to February month? Yes, from November month to February month in okay, well receive rainfall. In the summer month, it counts under summer months of which which month from November to February. This is mainly because of the warm ocean currents that wash the shores of the wells. Yes, warm ocean currents. आपकी वहाँ है वो क्या करती है wash वो करती है shores of well. If the rainfall is scanty in the winter month from June. Till August drought may occur. अगर वहाँ rainfall जो है कम हो जाए winter months में from June till to August तो क्या हो जाता है drought यानि कि सूखा जो है सूखी की problem shortage of water हो जाती है. Now let's come here flora and fauna. The vegetation cover is 
स्पेयर्स ओके द वेजिटेशन कवर वर्ड इट कवर इज स्पेयर्स सो ग्रासेस डोमिनेट द लैंडस्केप ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट ग्रासेस डोमिनेट वर्ड ग्रासेस डोमिनेट द लैंडस्केप रेड ग्रास ग्रोज इन बुश वेल्ट विच ग्रास ग्रोज इन बुश वेल्ट यस रेड ग्रास ग्रोज इन द बुश वेल्ट इन द हाई वेल्ट Acacia and the merula are seen to be growing. Okay, the animals of the wells are primarily lions, leopard, cheetah, and kudu. Just look at the picture also. Le leopard also. So animals you can see what kind of animals? Le lions, leopards, cheetah, and kudu also. Now what about people of the wells region? Okay, wells are known for cattle rearing and mining. Here, which one? Cattle rearing and mining. The soils are not very fertile, just as like uh, prairies. Prairies ki soil kaise aapki kafi fertile hai. But as compared to prairies, the soil of wells are not very fertile. So that's my, uh, that's why here which cattle rearing and mining. In the wells, due to the presence of discontinuous grass exposing barren surface. However, where the land is fertile, but some some places are also over there where land is also fertile. So crops are also grown over there. So the main crops are maize, wheat, barley, oats, and potato. What are the main crops grown in the part of wells where uh, for land is fertile? Yes. The main crops are maize, wheat, barley, oats and potato. Catch crops like tobacco, sugar cane and cotton also. Yes, some cash crop also overgrown there where land is fertile. So, which are cash crops? Yes, cash crops like tobacco, sugar cane and cotton. Sheep rearing is the most important occupation of the people. Which is the most important occupation of the people of the world? Yes. The most occupation, most important occupation of the people of uh, the wealth is ship rearing. Ship is bred mainly for wool and has given rise to the wool industry in the world. Yes. Mainly for what? Mainly for wool and given rise to the wool industry. So that's why ship jo cattle hai, wahan, ship rearing jo hai, most important occupation hai. So that's why is wajah se kya hai wahan, wool industry kaafi rise hai. Marina uh, one kind of ship, one species, you can say that merino ship is a popular species and their wool is very warm. Uh, which ship is a popular species? Yes, merino ship is very popular species and their wool is very warm. Dairy farming is the next important occupation after cattle rearing, uh, sorry, after ship rearing, which rearing after ship rearing which farming dairy farming is the next occupation okay important occupation you can say that cattle are reared in the winter and weather regions and the dairy product like butter cheese are produced for both domestic supply and also for export for export also and for the use of domestic supply apne ghar ke use ke liye aur bahar export karne ke liye कैटल को वो करते हैं उसके बाद वो डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक करते हैं बटर चीज ओके क्या प्रोड्यूस करते हैं डेरी प्रोडक्ट से कैटल तो हो गया वो किस में वो करते हैं वार्मर ओके कैटल्स आर रीच इन द वार्मर एंड वेटर रीजन्स ओके कहाँ का रीजन जहाँ वार्मर और वेटर रीजन है और डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स करते हैं वो वेयर बटर चीज एंड प्रोड्यूस फॉर बोथ डोमेस्टिक यूज ऑल्सो एंड फॉर द ऑल्सो फॉर द एक्सपोर्ट the wells have rich reserves of minerals. Okay, wells may kafi rich reserve for minerals we have. Iron and steel industries has developed where coal and iron are present. Which which industries okay develop in wells? Yes, iron and steel industries has developed. Okay, gold and diamond mining are major occupation of the people of this region. But are the major occupation again regarding minerals? Yes, gold and diamond. Which which one? Gold and diamond. Johannesburg is known for being the gold capital of the world. This is very important, beta. Capital of the world. Gold capital of the world. Which is the gold capital of the world here in Welt? Yes, in South Africa. Which one? This. Johannesburg is known for the being the gold capital of the world. Kimberley is famous for the diamond mines. Which one? Kimberley also plays over there, uh, which is very famous for its diamond mine. Just look at the picture also, 9.7 here, diamond mine, Kimberley. Okay. Then, 
माइनिंग ऑफ डायमंड एंड गोल्ड इन साउथ अफ्रीका लेड टू द स्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ट्रेड टाइस विद ब्रिटेन एंड ग्रेजुअली साउथ अफ्रीका बिकेम अ ब्रिटिश कॉलोनी जस्ट ड्यू टू वट ड्यू टू माइनिंग ऑफ डायमंड एंड गोल्ड एंड विच विच पार्ट यस इन साउथ अफ्रीका लेड टू द स्टेब्लिशमेंट वट इट लेट यस इट लेट टू द स्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ट्रेड टाइस सच इट ब्रिटेन एंड ग्रेजुअली साउथ अफ्रीका so that's why it became a british colony okay why it became a british colony yes it became a british colony because of mining of diamond and gold there in south africa this mineral rich area has a well developed network of transport yes agar hum baat kare network of transport so ye jo aapka area hai this mineral is rich area is a well developed so for today beta that's it but uh one activity also you have to do some types of grass grown on almost every surface of the earth have you seen some types of grass so list name of places where you have observed grass growing so you have to make a list name of places where you have to observe grass growing example lawns cricket fields between cracks of a sidewalk you have seen the cracks aap jaate ho to sidewalk mein tabhi aap grass dekhte ho lawn so you have to what name of places you have seen observed grass growing okay this is your also activity and you have to uh, send it for today beta uh, you have to do this activity okay for today that's it thank you all of you have a nice day ahead